Hey, what's up guys, my name is Sky and in this video I'm gonna show you how to massively improve the third person character experience with Unreal Engine in just two quick simple steps. So the first step is we are gonna create what's called overhead shoulder camera. And you might have noticed if you worked with third person template before is that when you run around like this, the camera is right behind your character centered around like the mid portion of your body. Now, if you actually played third person uh, games before, like Witcher 3, for example, you're gonna notice that that's not usually how the camera works per se in third person character. So what we are gonna do is we are gonna do the overhead shoulder, which is actually super simple to do in Unreal. So I'm just gonna close the preview and all it takes to do is we are gonna select the camera and we are gonna want to move it somewhere else. Now you can just move it however you want. And if you somehow find it that, oh wait, I screwed up, this doesn't look right at all. You can just return to the base value with this arrow in the transform and the base value is zero zero on all axes for the camera. So it just resets completely. So from my testing, and like I said, you don't have to use this. You can just experiment with this yourself. Instead, the axis of X equals zero and then Y, we are gonna do 20. And then the Z axis will be 70. This works quite well for at least like the baseline of over the shoulder camera. So if I hit play now with this adjuster, you can see now that my character is a bit to the left and uh, down, which means that we are centered above on the right side of the shoulder. So now when uh, you move like this, you can see the what's exactly in front of the character. And this ma massively improves stuff like interaction. For example, if I walk here, the interacting with sword is way easier because we can see what's in front of us directly. But we are gonna do another thing that's gonna massively improve this, especially the interaction part. And that's why we're gonna create a simple crosshair that's gonna kind of blend in, so it's not gonna stand out too much. So for that, we are gonna create a widget. If you don't know what widgets are at all, I recommend going back and watching the last video I made where I talk and explain and kind of give you just beginner guide to widgets overall. So I'm just gonna right click, I'm gonna search for user interface and widget, select user widget, and I'm gonna call mine HUD. This is gonna be the main HUD that we are gonna be just using going forward. Open that up and search in the palette for canvas panel because we need the representation of our entire screen. And then I'm just gonna get the widget, uh, the image, excuse me. And we want to anchor it right to the middle of the screen. Then I'm gonna reset the position of X and Y. So it centers actually on the anchor. We're gonna change the alignment to 0.5 on both of them, like so. We're gonna press size to content. And then in the appearance, in the image size, we want to change this both to five. You can obviously change this how much as you want, but um, I find that five works pretty well. So in the tint, here you can just change the color of your crosshair to whatever you want. I'm just gonna go with basic white. But one thing that I wanna do is I wanna change the alpha. For those of you who don't know, alpha basically equals transparency of the, of the color. So one being not transparent at all and zero being fully transparent. And what I wanna set this to is I think about like 0 0.7. This will give us a little bit of transparency, but we are gonna still be able to see the crosshair clearly. And the reason why I'm doing this is because it helps blend in the crosshair to the board a bit more. So we can still see it. We can operate with it really well, but we are gonna be it's not gonna stand out as much. And you're gonna see what I mean in a second. So go into our character, go into event graph, and I'm gonna search, I'm just gonna find the event begin play, drag from there and create widget. We need to get this node. And then I'm gonna, in the class, I'm gonna select the hat, the widget that we created. And then from return value, I'm gonna search for add to viewport. And that's it. Compile, save, and we can hit play. And as you can see, we have a really simple, like the square dot in the middle of our screen. And like I said, you can change this as much as you want. And we are probably gonna do a bit more custom, bit more advanced crosshair in the future. 
But something that I just want to showcase and why I wanted to have this now going forward, because when we are going to be doing stuff like more advanced combat system, etc. Something for interacting, having the crosshair is actually really useful because now we know exactly where we are interacting. Because if I just line it up like so and I press the interaction button, you don't see the trace line. But if I move a bit to the right, you see that it went exactly through our crosshair. This is due to how we designed the interaction system. And now with the crosshair, we know exactly at any time where we are interacting and it's just gonna make everything smoother and more functional so i hope you found this helpful leave a like um, recommendation of like what you would like to see next etc and thanks for watching see ya